Say, why are your mum working, bro? Retire. It's not my job to retire my mum. It's not my job to retire my mum. This is how we got this thing messed up. And these, these influencers in America are gassing everyone up. Oh, retire your parents. Retire your parents. It's not my job to retire my fucking parents, bro. It's the previous generation's job to nice and bust and pattern up the next generation. All it seems to do, all, all the previous generations seem to be bussing is nuts, blood. They're not bussing their kids. They're fucking bussing nuts, blood. Your parents are supposed to nice you up. Imagine if that's how it was. The next generation is supposed to look after and pattern up the previous generation. So what the fuck do you think they was doing in the cave back in the day? Boy, I ain't going to go and hunt. I'm just going to wait and have a you. And he's going to have to go and bring the food for me. No. No, fam. No, that's not the way it's supposed to be. That's the problem. When parents don't put in the work, now the kid has to take over and look after them. It's not... Parents should put in so much work that the child has the option to live life on easy mode. Obviously, I'm not going to let my son live life on easy mode. Because he's not going to learn enough. He's not going to be able to become a man living life on easy mode. But obviously, naturally, by default, obviously I'm going to drop cheat codes on him. Why am I going to make him make the mistakes? Or like I said, obviously I ain't made no financial mistakes like that in it. But yo, why, if you can get to a destination in 10 minutes, why are you going to take an hour to get there? Um, obviously, life is not about shortcuts and cheat codes and that, but. Sometimes it's just better not to, you know, waste time doing certain things. In there. That, and that's the thing as well. The previous generation, so the first generation is supposed to figure things out. They're supposed to have it hardest. Then the next generation, they've had the previous knowledge from the previous generation. And then they have the knowledge from the previous generation. So now they don't have to waste time figuring things out for the first for the first time. They don't have to start off from blueprints and the drawing board and that. The board has already been drawn. The blueprints are already there, fam. The, the, the house is already built. The previous generation is supposed to fucking build the house and the next generation is supposed to build an extension on that. Then the next generation, then they refinance the house and go and buy some more properties. That's how it's supposed to be, bro. Not every single generation has to buy their first house from scratch with no money from their parents. Told you already in some of my videos and that. Obviously, my girl's a mortgage broker and that. And some of the clients, yeah, these little young youths, 20, 21 years old, they're not putting up 20, 30 grand up front for a mortgage deposit. Some of them are. And even the ones that are putting up money up front. So you've got a few of them. They're putting down 20, 30 grand and that. My girl will ask, oh, where's the money come from? Ah, oh, it's from mum or dad or mum and dad. Some of them, they're putting down 30 grand deposit. She'll say, ah, oh, is it all, all your money or some of it? Oh, well, I've put in five grand and my parents give me 25 grand. I don't know black people that are in that position right now. Because even if their parents did have the money, they'll go and buy a nice car. 